it's time for the Susan Taylor Podcast, where we discuss the yoga of mind, medicine, and healing. Author of Feeling Good Matters, Sexual Radiance, and the Vital Energy Program, Dr. Taylor imparts authentic knowledge and practical tools that inspire, educate, and empower us to be a healing force for positive change. So join us and take your life and our planet to the next level. Hello and welcome to episode 145. Do you need a mental edit? (laughs) Meditation may be your solution. In today's episode, I'd really like to talk about, you know, does meditation really work and the positive effects as well as the short and long-term benefits that may happen. And then I'll end with how to start to meditate and give those of you that may be new to the community just a chance to get started in a practice. So the first question I do want to answer, and I've talked about it before, does meditation really work? You know, many people beginning a meditation practice actually sit and they want to feel better. And they expect that meditation is going to really be a quick fix or pick me up and they're going to feel okay. But they do find that it has some challenges. And all of us know that who have been sitting for meditation, it does have challenges. And, you know, the biggest one is unable to keep the mind still, right? The mind wants to, we have this desire for distraction and the mind likes to jump around. You know, authentic meditation teachers have said there, while there's a fortunate few people that experience the benefits very quickly, for the rest of us, (laughs) meditation really has to be practiced regularly over time to train the mind to reap its benefits or the results. So meditation, it has been practiced for thousands of years, we know this, and psychologists and neuroscientists have studied it yeah, for a few decades, I would say. And some studies suggest that meditation can really help relax, manage chronic stress, and even reduce reliance on pain medication. But this takes starting with an authentic, knowledgeable, skillful practice, and accompanied by a plan where you can practice it systematically. We know that some of the positive effects of meditation do become apparent after a few weeks, and the most noticeable changes are feeling more calm, and the mind becomes more stable. And as you train your mind to settle on a particular object, often it's the breath, and we do that uh, in the beginning, you gradually and gently learn how to stay focused. You know, an established practice with a solid foundation does pave the way for a clear, uncluttered mind and one that becomes one-pointed, and that's what becomes our happy mind, our joyful mind. And you'll find over time that your unsteady mind and its distracting thoughts become less and less. And eventually you'll settle in and not even wonder if meditation is working or not. We know that practitioners have said this and they may feel this early on when I've asked students And practitioners, what are your short-term benefits? What do you, when I say meditation, what are you actually thinking? And they'll say, well, I feel more positivity. And that's your mind edit that I was talking about. Reduce levels of tension and stress. We're not hanging on to some things that maybe were big in the past, but now they really don't have much strength in distracting us and making us stressed. Improved quality of sleep. We have increased energy, emotional balance, a sense of peace, and enhanced well-being. But what are the long-term benefits? You know, after months to years of practice, your overall health may improve and your cardiovascular function will strengthen. Even your healing capacity gets better because you're more introduced to yourself and there's less stress hormones floating around. And this is why medical professionals seem to be encouraging people to learn meditation. You know, you can choose to start with five to 10 minute sessions and increase over time. What's important isn't the length of your meditation, but your quality of practice and the consistency of a daily practice. And that's what makes the whole difference. Meditation does train our mind to focus because when we train our mind to focus, we're happy. Keeping your attention focused on the present, on the now, uh, a little bit of now, now and then can actually help us. You know, accepting the moment without judgment And that's been studied extensively for its infusion of positive psychological benefits. And many scientists are now saying focusing our awareness is where we find true happiness. 
So we understand that the mind and body are one entity and that the energetic quality of the mind is essential for life. So by focusing our awareness through meditation, it's a great strategy for health, happiness, and as I say, transformation. So how do we meditate? And now we've put that question, how long does it take to work into perspective? Now it's time we have to try for ourselves. And there's numerous meditation techniques you can try, but focusing on the breath is a great place to start. And in my new book, Return to Radiance, I bring that up when I talk about breathing. Everything's about breathing because if you don't have the foundation of breath, it's really not effective if we do meditation or even exercise for that matter in movement. So keep that in mind. You know, there are many different forms of meditation and ways to practice, but learning the basic meditation for beginners is a great place to start, and that's breath. Choose a quiet spot that's free of distractions, and that means no phone, telephone, or foot traffic coming through your space. And despite what others say, no music and other sensory stimulants if you're going to really practice and train that mind to be very strong and go inward. We want to establish a comfortable seat, and preferably a firm cushion, you know, um, on the floor or chair or even a solid seat. Just there's no recliners or sofas here. That's what I'm getting at. And you want to pay attention to your body and get comfortable. And then you focus on your breathing. You want to try to expand your belly, your diaphragmatic, or let me say for people that are new to the community, expand the rib cage when we inhale, and then slowly exhale, watching the belly deflate and the rib cage comes back to its resting position. And just pay attention to how each breath feels. So we allow the breath to come and go in a smooth, even and quiet manner, and just be there. We always want to be aware of our breath. And if a thought comes up, allow it to go by. The purpose of meditation is to befriend your mind so that you can experience the center of awareness. And don't judge yourself or try to do it right. Just have the experience. And whatever it is, simply direct your mind back to your deep breathing. If you, whatever it is that might distract you, just be okay with it and just come back to your breathing. So how much meditation is enough? People ask me that all the time. How much do I have to do? You know, everyone's different. And if we all have a preconceived notion about what it means for meditation to work, that is when we want meditation to do for us and how soon can we see these results? Well, the answer is it depends. As we said, for most of us, it requires practice. And that isn't the answer most people want to hear. You know, many of us are looking for a medically <laughs> prescriptive response, like, a few times a week for 15 to 20 minutes, say, you know, something like that. But the best guide I have ever heard was by an old Zen saying, I've heard this, you should sit in meditation for 20 minutes every day, unless you're too busy. And then you should sit for an hour. <laughs> that's pretty funny, isn't it? I thought it was. So that's why I wanted to include it. Because meditation does encompass your entire being, and you can experience a profound sense of being. And all of this takes persistence, patience, and a daily systematic practice. So how do you start to meditate? Our advice for new practitioners is to set up a systematic practice daily for 10 days and then reevaluate. Even if you're tempted to give up sooner than that because it's not working, keep going for five to 10 minutes every day. The practice of commitment in and of itself offers a wide spectrum of benefits, especially finding out about yourself. You know, once you reach the 10th day, something will click and then you can continue for another 10 days at a new benchmark. And always keep in mind that the first line of defense and recovery is already in you. Stay nourished and most of all, remain calm. And many of you have already written into me on the pre-launch of the new book. But for those that haven't, and if you're just tuning in, check out my new book, Return to Radiance. It's available on Amazon. And just search for the title, Return to Radiance. And, or you can go to susantaylor.org and follow the links under books. And I think it would provide a really good foundation for those that are even meditating. Because the key is, the more prepared we are with our diet, with our exercise routine, with our breathing patterns. I even put some essential oils in there for 
those that are interested, some flower remedies, some herbs. All of those things are very useful in making our meditation practice go a little bit smoother. So it's the pre-meditation book, but it's also good for building a lot of energy and vitality. And that's what it's all about, energy and vitality, because we need energy to actually keep the mind focused and not be so distracted. And that brings us to the end of this episode. And if you'd like to be notified weekly for new podcasts, please subscribe. The Susan Taylor Podcast is available on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, and TuneIn. And as I always say, susantaylor.org, you can just click there and you can click on the podcast to subscribe. And contact susantaylor.org if you have any questions, comments, or feedback. I love to hear them. And again, thank you for listening. The Susan Taylor Podcast does come out every week. And again, any questions, comments, something you might want to hear, contact us at susantaylor.org. And until next time, remain calm, consciously aware, living in the moment.